Hello everyone, no respawns here, hope you're doing well. So, today I want to talk about PS4 mods for Skyrim Special Edition, and how it's been a week now, it's looking quite interesting, and this seems to... The situation with Skyrim Special Edition for PS4, and the mod situation specifically, will infer to us how things will develop and how things will look for Fallout 4. Now, basically, just to be frank, this, I have been playing Skyrim Special Edition on my PC, the reason being is I've owned the game on Steam for ages, I got the free upgrade like everyone else, and also I've got a new PC so I can play the game on Ultra Graphics. However, I did initially, back in the day, have it on PC, a uh, PS4 rather, and even though I'm not playing it on console, I am still keeping an eye on the situation because as I said, how mods work out, specifically on PS4, for Skyrim will infer how they work out for Fallout 4. And looking so far, much better than I thought. So, it's been a week. Basically, it was a week. What? Yet yeah, tomorrow? Tomorrow evening? Yeah, about a week tomorrow. Well, tomorrow evening, about 12-ish. And we've got 384 mods for PlayStation 4 on the mods page on the Skyrim, um, on the Bethesda website. And that's surprisingly a lot more than I thought, especially in such a relatively short space of time. Now, alongside that as well, I'm looking through the mods. Now, they're obviously... The most popular mods aren't there. So, you know, the unofficial patch, the ones that was the Frostfall, that camping one, things like that, they aren't there. However, there are still some quite interesting... Like, for example, the kind of mods that I would actually download, that, that would make up the robust number of my mods. Just tweaks to the game, new things, or things pre-existing that are new. Um, you know, for example, you know, as, as someone who likes building, the first thing I did is to see how many player homes and building mods are in Skyrim for PS4. Quite a lot. Well, there are 25 homes, 21 buildings under the town, so I hit apply. So there's total 33 separate mods, and these are pretty cool. You know, there are manors, player-owned houses, lake houses, castles, tree houses, weird-looking houses, farms. There's quite a lot of stuff. Now, obviously, this is, you know, it's something that's very specific to Skyrim. The fact is that, you know, obviously, player home homes are very limited. Obviously, we don't have that problem in Fallout 4. Too many player homes, in fact. However, it just gives me... It got me thinking. For as I said, I'm, I'm impressed with the mods that are available already anyway. But it also got me thinking in terms of how not having custom assets, though, obviously... Ideal world, obviously, we'd we'd have as many options as possible. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie and say, oh, not having custom custom assets is better. Cause that's bullshit. Of course, that's not the case. I'm not. Even though I maybe wouldn't use mods with custom assets, I do appreciate that it would be better if we did have them. However, it's not the end of the world, and it's obviously already demonstrating, revealing itself to not be the end of the world. You know, nearly 400 mods for PS4 for Skyrim Special Edition. That's awesome. And to give you guys a different way of looking, I know obviously, for example, a lot of you are more cynical than I am, which is fair enough, especially people who are more active mod users on PC, I mean, like, oh, this is bullshit, mate, and fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. But let me give you an example, right, so I like to think I'm one of the more popular Fallout 4 settlement builders on the internet, whether you think that's a good thing or not, and I use exclusively vanilla assets, I do not use mods. Now, I, I'm quite pleased with what I make. And I don't use mods. I use whatever Bethesda has given us, and I like to think I make quite interesting, unique things that a lot of people with mods can't make. And that's kind of what it's looking like might happen with the mods. Well, looking like the mods of Skyrim are going that way, and also hopefully that means the mods for Fallout 4 will go that way as well, because basically, to be honest, you know, asset flipping and just kind of reusing textures and pre-existing assets is kind of what game developers do anyway. And just having mod developers basically, obviously, again, you know, I'm not going to lie and pretend that oh, this is better than not, you know, having than having custom assets because obviously that's not the case. However, people can be surprisingly creative given these restrictions. Anyway, I'm an example of that. I like to think, and it's looking like the. Skyrim modding community are going to be like that, and my hope is the Fallout 4 modding community are going to be like that. So that's my take on how it's looking so far. It looks like things aren't so bad 
for Fallout 4 mods as we thought. Now, let me ask something else. I don't know when Fallout 4 mods are coming. I think, you know, but Bethesda did say, I know Pete Hines has said that they want to get Skyrim stabilized first. The root down the grapevine, I read it on Reddit, and this person provided no basis for this statement. However, it was just like, see, people seem to think it's going to be the end of this month. My advice is to follow Pete Hines on Twitter, follow Fallout on Twitter, follow Bethesda Softworks on Twitter, and you'll find out the second I do. Don't worry, though, if you don't have Twitter, I'm always on the damn thing, and the second I find out, you can bet your ass I'm going to make a video on it. I've also got some other thing that got me thinking, and I want your thoughts on this, whether you think this will be possible. Because, obviously, on Skyrim, the first thing I did was went straight to the building mods, right? Well, actually, no, that's, like, the second thing I did. The first thing I did was try to find mods that are popular that are on PS4, and there weren't, obviously, and I, then I went to the building mods. And it got me thinking, and it's just something I can't believe this didn't occur to me. And for those of you who are disappointed with the mods that might be available for Fallout, hopefully this will maybe tease you and excite you a little bit more. Which the fact is, I could make mods for Fallout 4. Because obviously I'm going to be using pre-existing assets anyway, right? I could make my buildings, not whole settlements, because I'd make them modular. Let me know if this is possible, by the way. But I could potentially make buildings as mods, and then you could just download the battle bus. You could download my shops. You could download my advanced farms. You could download my structures as mods on console without having to go through the painful process of not only building them yourself, but let's be completely frank, the painful process of watching one of my videos as well. This is just an idea. I don't know how, if I would be able to do this. Also, there's this rather slight issue that I don't actually know how to make mods myself. So there is that I, I would have to learn. I don't know the processes, but people who understand modding and in terms of, you know, whether it be using, whether me, for example, just making a building and then turning it into a downloadable building um, in a mod format would be possible on PS4. Let me know, because I have absolutely no fucking clue. If it, if I can do it on PS4, this is very important, if I can do it on PS4, I'm not going to just do it on PC, just do it on Xbox. If I can do it on all platforms, I will definitely give it a stab and try and learn. Because, one, that'd be great for me as a YouTuber, because that means, you know, it would make my my videos more popular and my builds more popular because people would actually download them and so it would open me up to a whole new community but also I know it would be really cool to be able to have this almost closer interaction with you guys that you can actually physically see not only all the terrible errors that I make but also just it would just be cool you know I mean give you guys something back and actually rather than you know just having to listen to me waffle anyway speaking of waffling let me know what you think of the current ps4 mod situation with skyrim i'll leave a link in the description to the actual mods page so you can have a look over what's available so i've there are quite a lot so and the freaking navigation is really bollocks i can't just sort them by most popular at least i can't see the fucking find the damn thing so i was just kind of just scrolling through and just kind of picking certain sections let me know what you think anyway i'm optimistic if you're optimistic, that's grand. If you're not optimistic, let me know why. Is it just purely customer assets and, you know, Sony are complete pricks or is there more to it? Are there limitations that maybe I'm not seeing? That would be quite interesting. It's highly likely there most definitely is. <laughs> anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts. As always, follow me on Twitter at no respawns. We'll see what I'm up to. See me tweet out bullshit. Recently started watching Rick and Morty. Why have I never watched Rick and Morty before? I've got fucking Loot Crate t-shirt and I still haven't watched the damn show. It's amazing. My excitement was quite noisy. Anyway, I love you all and I'll talk to you soon. You take care.